Hey guys, this is Barb from barbajournals.com. And today I wanted to come on real quick to show you guys how to do a blank line page in Canva. So, um, and the, the time of this video is February 13th, February, um, February 13th, 2020. Just in case when um, you see this, they change how to do it. So at this point in time, this is the easiest way to do it. So I'm gonna make the page um, letter size, so 8.5 by 11. And one of the things about um, the lines feature now is that it, when you click on the element, because they actually created an element, the line feature is very thick. So you go to elements, and I would just type in line, which it may automatically pop up for me because I've been... Um, that's what I primarily use. And then you click it right here. So, and I always change it to black, of course. There we go. All right, so it comes out pretty thick as you can see, right? So what I would do is I would go in the corner and I would pull it in to the size that I want. Now, that's really up to you how thick you want the line to be. That, so that's gonna come with a little trial and error. Now you see that the line is thin, but then it's also short. And if you try to do like this in order to go this way, it doesn't quite work. But if you come down here and change the percentage to 100%, it makes it big, makes this rectang rectangle bigger, and then you're able to drag it over. So I'm gonna use the margins that's already set with Canva, so I'm just gonna keep the line right here. And this still may be a little thick, so I'm gonna go up a little bit more. And then that means I have to make this a little bit bigger in order to get the rectangle. Let me see if it'll let me, there we go. Now I'm going to do fit the page. Let me see, cause I'm not really sure. There it is, perfect. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So there's my line and I just used the um, margins that Canva already has. So now all I gotta do is duplicate and then space it out how I want to space it out. Let me see. So I'm gonna just space it. And again, this is all based on your preference. So this may come with a little trial and error. So now I have the lines and the neat feature about Canva that they just have, you can now see if the spacing is equal. On a MacBook, you will hold down the option key and on a regular laptop, you will hold down the alt key, A-L-T. So I highlight one element, hold down Alt or hold down Option, mm -hmm. and then highlight to the next one. So I see that this is 0.3. So then when I go here to here, I see that's 0.4. So I know I need to raise it up a little bit. So select Option or Alt key, go down. So that's 0.5. I knew that wasn't going to be exactly right. So that's 0.4. I think it's 3. Yep, 3. So I need to raise this a little bit more. There we go. So I know all of this is 0.3 um, as far as with spacing. So it's even. So then I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, group, and then I'm going to duplicate. Do the next one. Now, of course, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You could always just, you know, I could ungroup. For example, let me undo this one. If I wanted to, I could ungroup, ungroup, make this one big group, and then duplicate that to make it go faster. It's up to you. I'm just showing you what I do. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let me make this fit. All right, so that's my blank line page. Now, um, if you're not comfortable, you know, with the space up there and you want to add more lines, of course, you can always do that. So maybe I'll ungroup, add three more at the top. Again, it's really based on your preference and what you want. But that's a blank line page, um, 8.5 by 11. I do, of course, sell templates that's already formatted. But this is how you would basically 
make your lines. Now, another way that you could do it is if you use, I think it's Mon Montessat. Let me see. It's a cert. There we go. There we go. It's a certain font, and I think it's called. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Montserrat. I guess that's how you pronounce it. If you use that one, that's another way you can create blank lines too. So make sure. There it is. That's the font that you could use, and it's right here. That's the font that you could use too if you want to do it a different way instead of using a blank lines. And then, of course, as I suggested, go ahead and make sure you print it out just to make sure. And then you would just drag this over. And then you would just um, hold down the shift, and I think it's the minus key or the dash key. And there you go. And there's your line. And then you would just duplicate. I'm just pulling this down. Now, because you have like the, black, the blue square over top of it, you could always just do it like that. And then that way you don't have to worry about trying to make sure it's even because you already know that it's lining up with the blue line. See what I mean? And then I would just highlight, group, duplicate. Oops, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to ungroup. Duplicate. And then I might ungroup this one because I'm probably gonna need like maybe three more left at the bottom. Group, duplicate. Down. There we go. So that's another way that you can do it. So either one is fine. Um, so I'm going to delete this one and stick with this one. So you have all your lines. Now what you can do is go to page manager. It's already selected and just start copying. So if I want to make the 100 by 100 page blank line journal, all I would need to do is just start duplicating the pages. And I generally do it like this because it goes faster. So it takes a couple minutes or a couple seconds for Canva to pick up on it because I'm the larger I'm making it, of course, the more time it'll need. But this was the fastest way that I found to duplicate the pages. Whenever, so Canva has 16, I think. So it's duplicating those 16. So then all I have to do is just go ahead and duplicate the 32. And it just makes it go a lot faster than if you were to try to add each individual page. Unless, of course, you're doing different pages. But I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how to do a blank line journal. I showed you two different ways. If you are, you know, if that's cool with you, then, you know, that's fine as far as if you want to do it yourself. But if you're just like, that's too much effort, I will include a link in the bottom of this video that will show you guys um, how to um, allow you guys to use my templates because I did create a template of um, journal pages where you can add different features such as um, images to the back. You can add journal prompts and things like that. Um, I will add a link to that as well in case you just want it already done for you. But this is how you can basically do it yourself. Let me see what happened. I might be adding, because because Canva only allows you to do um, 100 pages at a time. And I remember those of you that may be old school with it, you might remember that it used to be <laughs> it used to be uh, 30 pages, and now they allow you to do um, 100. So let me see. So if I'm adding too many pages, it's not going to, of course, accept it. So I'm, I'm up to 94. So highlight, highlight, and this should take me up to 100. And there you go. So if you have any questions, drop them underneath. But like I said, I just wanted to make sure that 
I show you guys how to create a blank line journal pages. The I use the borders that were preset with Canva, of course, depending on your platform that you're using to print, you may need to adjust the borders, but I just wanted to show you guys how to get started. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and you guys have an amazing day.